Hello, my name is Keshwani. <coughs> That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here, practicing to take GRE general test, the 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. This is what you want to practice from. This is where, where, you, where you want to practice for the exam for. There are seven exams in it. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that appears in exam number two on page number 200 quantitative comparison QC stands for quantitative comparison number one it's a very simple problem it's a very straightforward problem we'll, we'll, we'll take care of it very quickly Well, it's the number one, obviously. Nobody had problem with it. 95% of the people got it right. What baffles me is is uh, is the fact that five people, five percent of the people, did manage to muck it up. But it's very simple. Two plus two is four. Four plus five, five is nine. So it's five times nine, and of course, five times nine is less than fifty because it's forty-five. The answer is B. That's all. Let's look at number two. Number two says j minus k equals two, and then we are told, and then we are told that uh, k minus six is four, and we are asked to compare j versus ten. Well, from this equation, we can figure out what k is. K equals 10 obviously. Now instead of doing all this thing, what I wanted to say is, what I should have said is, this is, this is very childish what I did here, this is very childish. All I wanted to say is, bring 6 to the other side. Bring, saying that bring 6 to the other side is same as saying, add 6 to both sides of the equation. And if you add 6 to both sides of the equation, 6 drops out and, and appears on the other side. So if you bring 6 on the other side, negative 6 becomes positive 6 and k equals 10 because 6 plus 4 is 10. Once we know k, j minus 10 equals 2, j has to be 12 because 12 minus 10 equals 12, j is 12, therefore the answer is a. There you go. Nothing to it again. 83% 80, of the people who took the exam got this one right. That's it, we are done. I'm going to do a couple of extra problems. Just give me one second. Let's do some bonus problems, just for fun. And I'm going to number them with the Roman numerals so that we don't we don't get confused. Three to the cube times negative two to the second power times negative ten to the fourth versus fourth to the cube times negative five to the third times negative 10 to the 4. What I want you to do now is to pause this clip, pause this clip, work on it on your own for a little bit, for as long as it takes. Once you have the answer, once you have figured out, the, once you have figured out the answer, resume the tape and we'll see what happens, okay? All right, so here we go. So I'm gonna actually get out of the frame for about five seconds. All right, so what did you do? What I want you to do, what I want you to understand and what I want you to realize here is this is a three. This is this was this was paramount. My handwriting was very lousy. This was a three. 
And if you and if you misread this as something other than three, negative raised to three. If you misread this as something other than three, then pause the clip one more time and redo the problem. Anyway, so what did you do? What I want you to realize is, is the fact that these questions are called quantitative comparison. These are not called quantitative computation, which is why I wrote down computation. I cross it out to emphasize it, that one is not expected to compute the two quantities. One is expected to compare them. What you have to realize here is that negative 2 raised to second power, this is a positive quantity. Negative 10 raised to a fourth power is a positive quantity. This is a positive quantity. This whole thing is positive. Here, we have 4 raised to third is a positive. Negative 10 raised to an even, even power. A negative number raised to an even power is going to be a positive number because negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. And then if you multiply it again by negative 2, it becomes negative 8. And then if you multiply again by negative 2, it becomes positive 16 again. So any negative number raised to an even power is a positive number. This, on the other hand, is a negative number. So positive times negative will be negative, and negative times positive again will be negative. The quantity on the other side, in column B, let me erase all this here. I don't actually have to figure out what they are actual numbers. That will be a waste of enormous waste of time, colossal waste of time. I don't have to figure out actually what the numbers are. All I have to realize here is that this is a negative quantity here, and therefore this whole thing is negative. This whole thing is positive. Therefore, the answer is A. What, what the quantities actually are, we do not care because we are not asked to compute the quantity. This is not called quantitative computation. This is called quantitative comparison. So when you see something like this in the exam, that's what you have to realize. Let me check the time one more time in the clock. If I have the time, I'll do one more. Alright, we're a little over 7 minutes into the clip. I want to keep it under 10, so let's do one more quickly if we can. Actually, I'm going to end it here because if I, the next one is a little bit involved, I am going to run, run over time. I like to keep the clips under 10 minutes. Listen, I hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you wish to hire me for personal private tutoring, I'm located in Connecticut. I do most of my work in Connecticut and Manhattan, and also sometimes I go to Massachusetts, Rhode Island, New Jersey, uh, what I leave out. Uh, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New Jersey, New York. It doesn't matter where you're located, as long as uh, you and I can, can come to an agreement, I will come and help you if that's what you need. Or if you wish to buy the solutions to any of these problems in, in, in this book, go to my website at www. Send me an email, go to my website at www.prepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepp